Thanks, Adam. So when you saw the contracts, you'll bring them over here. Yeah. All right, great. Cheers, pal. Please, you can't do this. I can do anything I want. You know, this was her plan all along to buy me out. She was softening me up so I would be begging to sell. Well, then talk to oh, her. Oh, talk. It's gone way past that. Oh, hey, mate. I'm here as a favour to you. No other reason. Guys, I've got Gary waiting for me in the pub. Oh, hang on. This, this will take two minutes, I promise. Do you think I'm going to buy your share after that performance in the restaurant? Hang on. You said it was a good deal. Yeah. I thought Carla was on board. I thought one a hostile partner. Life's too short. I'm sorry, mate. No hard feelings, but I'm out. I can't just sit here and do nothing. I've been calling you a million times. I just went for a few beers. What's this? A welcoming committee. Michelle said you ran off. We were worried, that's all. Look, I don't know what's going on here, but Michelle was in a right state and that was down to you. It's, it's all right. Maybe I overreacted. Overreacted? Shell, you were shaking like a leaf. I know, I'm sorry. You know what, maybe I, I'm, I'm gonna go and leave you to it. Thanks, Carl. You don't have to run off you and stay out of the drink with you. I'll call you later. to Ronan's mum. You are. I told her what I told the police, OK? That's what you wanted me to say, right? <laughs> you did what you had to do. We know that. What I had to do? Ali, I can't do this anymore. I can't. We need to talk about this, all of us together. We can't deal with this on our own. Oh, hold up. Deal with what? What are you talking about? <laughs> and I can't keep lying, either. Ali, you're not lying. What's going oh, on? Do you know what, Robert? Do you want to know the truth, OK? The truth is this, that I killed Ronan, OK? I didn't let him kill himself. I killed him. I told him to hold that post still. And I put my hands around his hands and I pulled it out and let him die. He kept talking and bragging, OK, that how he thought he was going to get away with it, get away with hitting Ryan. And that he had a gun in the car. And he said that the police couldn't touch him. And that no one could stop him. So I thought I would stop him. I just had to look his mum in the eyes and lie to her. You did that to protect us. We tried to kill Ryan. He would have tried to kill you and Michelle as well. What if the police had investigated, they put him on trial and banged him away, and I would have never had to do what you I just done. Think like that. <laughs> This hospital confirming that I can go back to my training. I can't do this. I, I, I have to go to the police. I have to tell them what exactly I've done. <laughs> so Carla discovers that Peter wants to sell his half of the business and he's having this secret meeting in Speed Doll. So she storms in there, she blows it out of the water. Then he finds out that she's secretly raising the money to buy his half of the business. So he goes on the warm path. She's gone AWOL and the pair of them they're just they're tearing me apart. Anyway, how's your day? Oh, <laughs> uh, you know, it's clean my tools, stacked some time. Uh, read the paper, made a couple of calls. Please do not tell anyone, because both of them have made me promise not to tell the other one what they're up to. Okay, don't worry, all of your secrets are safe with me. Oh, uh, there's Leanne. I arranged to meet her. Oh, is there something we should know about? Uh, no. I think you've had enough excitement for one mm. day. So do you, uh, you fancy a dull moment or what? Ooh. Do I want wine? Oh, I'll get this. Uh, I can get my own wine. I'm not destitute. I know, but I invited you out for a drink, so I should get the first one. I'll tell you what, I'll get the drink while you two argue over it. Hey, man. Sorry I'm late. I had to make a couple of phone calls. Hey, don't worry about it. Got your orange juice? Cheers. How's it going? Badly. I just pulled the plug on the deal, and I can't find an alternative buyer, and I'm sick of orange juice. And you still owe me for the work I did on his contract, so... Great. Just got worse. Yeah, I've got the money, yeah? Yeah, yeah, you'll get the money. But I don't think we're gonna need the contracts. Listen, I'm gonna go for a smoke. Not seen Carla, have you? No. I keep expecting her to jump out and ambush me with her own contracts. 
You know what, Peter? See? Everyone's pleased to see you. You're not serious, are you? Well, back on to the police, yeah, I am serious. <sighs> You're a doctor. No, I'm not a doctor. I'm a murderer. No, it's more complicated than that. Well, it seems very simple to me at the moment, OK? I had a choice, and I made the wrong choice. You think you're the first person to have done something they regret? Sorry, have you killed someone recently? You saved Ryan. You saved Leanne. And probably me and Robert and yourself, because you know what? If Ronan was still here, he would be gunning for us all right now. I would have done the same thing. At least, uh, I hope I would have. If I'd been as brave as you. Brave? Brave? Why am I feeling like this, then? Because you're a good person. Because you care. Ali, there's only one thing that's going to make you feel better about all this. Being a doctor. Helping people. One man died. One bad man died. That's terrible, but... Balance that against the number of lives you could save. You've worked so hard. Now, give it some time. Don't start back at the hospital yet. And in the meantime, I could really do with a hand in the kitchen at work. <laughs> Me with knives. <laughs> Maybe in a few weeks you'll feel differently. Maybe then you'll be ready to go back to helping people. Well, do I look like you, Mum? No, but you sound the same when you walk, you know, your footsteps. Have you seen my mum? No. What have you brought me? Um, well, I haven't brought you anything. What? Chocolates, fruit, balloons. What would you want a balloon for? You're not eight. I'm in mean, hospital. I could have died. I wanted it to buy a bunch of flowers. Oh, you want flowers now? I like flowers. Well, you can't bring flowers onto a board anyway. Chocolate. I'm skint. Fine. I guess I'd rather have you here without flowers or fruit or chocolates and not have you here at all. Good. When my mum gets here, though, can you nip out and get us a balloon? Ryan! There's a kid through there with three balloons. Oh. I know you probably don't want to hear this, but Steve's great with Oliver. And Peter's great with Simon. I mean, I'm not saying we don't have the odd row here and there, but, well, they love the kids. I've changed. Really? Yeah. I only had to hear the name Steve and Peter and my hackles be up. You know, I get a bit tense when I fight. But now I'm just glad you've got two good dads on your side. Oh, so you've grown up? Yeah. yeah I think I have. I don't want to take anyone else's place. I just want to find my own place here in Wilderford. Look at that pair. You can Leanne. Getting on like nothing ever happened. That Leanne must be a very forgiving woman. Maybe. Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, you two looking very cosy. Yeah, we're getting on. Mm, be careful. <laughs> be careful. <laughs> First round in. Cheers. Hey, where's your grand? Want to get her arras? Four pints, please. Yes, Deb. I mean, I know it's the first leg, but we're 2-0 up. <laughs> You're our lucky charm, you. Yes. Uh, should we be getting home? No, no, it's post-match pint, part of the treat. Never heard of a post-match pint. Yeah, post-match pint, post-match game of arras, post-match single malt, post-match kebab away home. All evening's entertainment, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, you'd be so brilliant to me, you have Gina. I'm up with Sally coming home. This is part of my treat. Oh, that's all right. Don't you want to hang out with your mates? No, I want to hang out with you. Ah! Oh, see. <laughs> hey. You still got them contracts, have you? Yeah. Don't tell Carla, but we might get a chance to use them after all. Hey. Peter was looking for you earlier. I phoned too. 
Oh, yeah, I was with Shelby, got talking, you know how it is. Yeah. Her and Robert are close, aren't they? I mean, I know they've had the troubles, but they got through them together. Well, that's what we all try to do. Mm. I'm not sure whether I just fall in love too easily or I keep on falling in love with the wrong men. I don't really know the answer to that one. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure anyone does. I'm trying to keep up with this conversation, but I may need a few more clues. Oh, don't so worry. I've just had the best day. And I've got this horrible feeling growing here in the pit of my stomach. It's like, making me feel sick. Maybe you should go to the medical centre. I think it's that I might still be in love with Peter. You've been drinking too much. I wish it was that simple. How can you possibly have feelings for that man? No, I, I know. And when he first bought into the factory, I, I mean, it was a nightmare. I tried everything I could to put him off. Day one, I was applying for loans to buy him out. One of those loans was approved today. The trouble is, now I can buy him out. I don't want to. That doesn't mean you love him. Johnny, I know how I feel. You've not forgotten what he did? No, and I thought I could never forgive him for that, but... I'm not saying people don't make mistakes, me included, but Peter made some really big ones. Yes, he did. OK, right, so help me out here. I can keep thinking of really good reasons why it's a really bad idea for you even to think of getting back together with Peter. But is that what you want? If you could persuade me to run a mile, I'd be really grateful. I'm not sure I can. I do know what you should do, though. Well, I'm listening. Talk to him. Mm. Don't let things go unsaid. You've got to tell him how you feel. I make myself vulnerable. Set myself up to be hurt again. Or you could run a mile. Talk to win, Gina. Come on, take your time. All this pressure on this. If you miss, Nan's got three darts at 16. That's a favourite double, that. Oh, pour off. Yes, on the other team. Put her off as much as you like. <laughs> Come on. It's <laughs> cheating. Bronchitis. I'm a slave to my two. She has been wheezy all day. Yeah, mm. Listen, fellas, this is Ernie. Come on, you just concentrate on the target. Let's go. Come on. Come oh, on, get on with it, will you? Yeah, you can do it. Come on, Come on. Oh! 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 You were right. It's a fool. It's very thick. It's just going to go. Does that mean we win? No. no. It's good with a dart left. Oh! oh. 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 Get in! Got it already. Right. You're out, mate. How did you do that? It was me. I brought a ladies' dart champion three years running. Three. Did you hear that? <laughs> eh? We have been hustled. We've not been hustled. We've just been beat. And we're getting a drunk seat. You're right. This has been really nice. I'm sat here talking, but that's as far as it goes for me. You worried about what people will say? Since when have I worried about what people say? No, I'm more worried that we're going to get on the same merry-go-round, but it's going to be a great ride, and then I'll get off and you'll have gone again. No, no, no way. How can you be so sure? Because when I saw you in that hospital bed, I knew in an instant where I wanted to be. For now? No. I'm moving back. For good. I'd better go. I told Steve it'd only be an hour. Yeah, I'll see you tomorrow. And the next day. And the next day. And the next day. Surprise! I thought you'd gone home. I had. Then I was walking through the other ward and that little boy had gone for a wee, so nicked his balloons, didn't I? You what? No one saw me. You stole the child's balloons? You wanted the balloons. I was messing about. I did it for you. I Take them back. Well, I can't take them back now. What would I say? Well, say they came loose and you found them. I, I don't know. You can't steal a sick child's balloons. That's a terrible thing to do. You are so easy to wind up. <laughs> All right. 
So you didn't rob a small boy? No. No, they were leaving and they couldn't get them in the car. That's pretty good. Mm. I had you go in there, didn't I? Yeah, and you're bad. Mm. In a good way. And don't you forget it. Look, it's broken the skin. No, 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 no. it's just, just a scratch. Well, you might need a tetanus. I don't know. Tetanus? Oh, do you think it's a good idea? I think it's a brilliant idea. Oh, this family could do with a wedding. Don't tell Dad. I, I don't I don't like keeping secrets. Well, I have to propose to Rana first. I'll tell him when there's something to tell. OK. You look happy. Of course I am. My girlfriend's going home. No. <laughs> mm. Nick, you've not seen Peter, have you? Uh, he was in here earlier. Yeah, I know. I just I can't find him now, and he's not answering my texts and sending him, so... Uh, well, I'm sure he'll be in touch soon. Oh, yeah. Um, listen, I'm sorry if I was a bit short earlier. It's just it's a bit awkward seeing you around, and uh, I still feel kind of guilty. Walk into the bridge. OK, well, what are you up to these days? Hey, this and that. <laughs> well, best of luck. Yeah. Same to you. You've been gone the best part of two hours. Yeah, I've been in the back talking to Carla. What, while I've been stuck out here on my own? She's had an emotional day. It, it's OK. You don't have to make every missing moment sound like some major family emergency. I feel like I do. Yeah, well, whose fault's that? Do you play snooker? A bit. Why? What's your highest break? 58. Oh, that's oh. impressive. Yeah, I used to sneak in the old billiard hall when I was a kid. <laughs> what about poker? Nah, not very good at cards. I uh, keep getting the kings and the queens mixed up. I don't even think about it. I just want a chance to make things easy. She's already fleeced my kids for the pocket money playing three-card brag. It's educational. The maths is coming on a treat. I love three-card brag, me. I'm afraid. I'd be very afraid, Kirky. Peter wants to meet me at the factory. A bit late for a business meeting. But there might not just be business on the agenda. That's a look. There you go. How's it getting on? Uh, yeah, still got all his fingers. Thank you. You could have told me. I should have. We're not out of the woods yet. And he's still struggling. <sighs> Dude, I have no idea how he did what he did. But he saved us. And now we have to do everything we can to help him. Yeah, we'll get there. I forgot to visit Ryan. Oh, he'll understand. <sighs> You'll have to. No, he can't know about Ali. Just me and you, no one else, okay? We will get him through this, won't we? Yeah, of course we will. Are you gonna finish that? Oh, I can't believe you're still hungry. Well, I burn a lot of nervous energy at the football. Plus, I've had a very stressful couple of weeks. <sighs> Go on then. Oh, you're a star. Tell you what, tonight's been just about perfect, hasn't it? <laughs> I don't know what me and Faye would have done without you. Well, you'd be eating kebabs, breakfast, dinner and tea. No, I'm serious. What you've done for us, you've gone above and beyond. Plus, you're pretty world class with them arrows. <laughs> you ready for bed? Cos tonight, my darling, I'm gonna tidy up. Ah, oh, don't be daft. No, go on. All right. <laughs> Do it. Come here. Come here. Oh. Sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. As if Sally'd have any bed bugs, but you know what I mean. <laughs> now go on, get yourself off. We enter the last quarter of the night. Night then. Yeah, at night. You see this side come back from two goals down, and there's plenty of time for a winner. I literally had no idea about Sinead. I felt like such a fool. Well, the gossip grapevine's not always that reliable. Do you know what? It makes you count your blessings. I'm so lucky. Rana's coming home tomorrow and I can't wait. That's great. It's good to see you smile again. And it's good to have something to smile about. What are you two talking about? 
Uh, Rana's home tomorrow. Yeah, she's been with her mum for a long time. She's probably really got her claws in. Oh, have faith. Rana loves you. It'll take more than the mad ramblings of her mother to turn her around. Yeah, feels like we've got a new start for us. God, I can feel my heart pounding knowing she's coming home. <laughs> That's love. Or you could have a cardiac problem. He's so romantic. He's happy that you're happy. Well, you took your time. Sorry, and I'm sorry I stood you up in the Rovers. It's just that I bumped into Michelle, we got held up. Really? Yes. Not some ruse to buy yourself more time? No. What? Is that for me? No. Peter, what are you doing? Well, I could ask you the same question. One minute we're a top team, the next minute I discover you're trying to buy me out. Well, that's not true. Oh. OK, look. I applied for that ages ago. All right, I have no intention of using it. I want this, Peter. I, I see our future here working together. Do you want a scotch? It's a single malt. No. No, I don't want one, and I don't think you should have one. Have you been drinking? Like you care. Yes, of course I care. Why would it bother you in the slightest, Carla, if I had been drinking? Of course it would bother me, because I still Sorry flaming... to interrupt. What are you doing here? Drinks for Nick. You see, we just signed this contract, which means he is now the proud owner of my share of Underworld. Cheers. Good to be back. Well, eyewitnesses to an airline crash and some incredible encounters with nature bring some unbelievable moments caught on camera. Join Alistair Stewart for that new next tonight.